When you first looked at the Hubble Space Telescope images of these jets, it was like saying, wow, I've seen that picture before, except it wasn't a picture of something in space, really. Instead, it was a picture of somebody's calculation of what should be in space. And that's the kind of thing that when it happens for an astronomer, it's really very, very exciting because it tells you just almost instantly that there's something that now you understand. Hidden within a cosmic jet from a newborn star, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope just discovered something that has left astronomers speechless, an entire spiral galaxy perfectly aligned behind a stellar outflow, creating what appeared to be a mysterious object at the tip of a cosmic tornado. This extraordinary chance alignment, revealed in stunning detail within Herbig Haro 49-50, completely reframes what scientists thought they were seeing for decades. What previously appeared as a puzzling blob in lower resolution images turned out to be something far more profound, a distant galaxy sitting precisely in our line of sight through the jet. This is just one of several stunning revelations emerging from NASA's newest data on Herbig Harrow objects. The Webb Telescope's unprecedented resolution didn't just improve our view of these stellar jets, it shattered fundamental assumptions about their structure, composition, and behavior. Discoveries that weren't merely refinements of existing knowledge, but complete paradigm shifts in how we understand these cosmic phenomena. The scientific community has been forced to reconsider basic assumptions about these objects as each new observation from NASA's telescopes reveals another layer of unexpected complexity. Why does this matter? Because Herbig Harrow objects represent the violent birth announcements of stars just like our Sun. They hold the keys to understanding how stars, and by extension planets and potentially life itself, come into existence these aren't gentle cosmic processes, they're explosive, turbulent events that shape entire stellar neighborhoods. These jets literally blast molecular gas across space at breathtaking velocities, hundreds of kilometers per second, fast enough to travel from Earth to the Moon in mere minutes. The energy involved is staggering, and the consequences for star formation are profound. What NASA has discovered embedded within these data doesn't just satisfy scientific curiosity, it fundamentally changes our understanding of the processes that likely created our own solar system. Each new revelation brings us closer to answering one of humanity's most persistent questions, how did we get here? The first bombshell came when Webb examined Herbig Harrow 797 in the Perseus star forming region. What astronomers had long considered to be a single outflow with unusual properties turned out to be something far more intriguing. Webb's superior resolution revealed that HH-797 is actually two distinct, nearly parallel outflows, each with its own series of shocks, launched from a previously unresolved binary star system. This wasn't just a minor correction. It completely overturned the previous interpretation that suggested the unusual velocity pattern might be due to a rotating jet. Instead, we're seeing two separate stellar engines working in tandem. Then there's what Chandra X-ray Observatory found lurking in Herbig Harrow 2. Something theoretical models had predicted, but no one had actually seen until NASA pointed this powerful telescope at the object. Chandra detected X-rays emanating from the bow shock of HH2 confirming the presence of gas heated to an astonishing 1 million degrees Kelvin. This discovery, published by Dr. Stephen Pravdo and colleagues in Nature, validated a long-standing theory and revealed that these relatively small stellar jets can generate shock conditions comparable to supernova remnants, albeit on a smaller scale. The detection proved that infant stars pack far more energetic punch than previously recognized. Meanwhile, Webb's observation of Herbig Harrow 211 unveiled yet another surprise, a perfectly symmetrical S-shaped wiggle in the jet's path. This isn't random. The mirrored oscillation pattern on either side of the central protostar provides compelling evidence that HH211's source is likely a binary star system whose orbital motion causes the jet to corkscrew through space. 
The precision of this pattern was unexpected and gives astronomers a new way to identify binary star systems, even when the stars themselves remain hidden from view. And then we return to that extraordinary web image of Herbig Harrow 49-50, the cosmic tornado. What had appeared in Spitzer's lower resolution imagery as a mysterious blob at the tip of a conical outflow was revealed by Webb to be an entirely separate object, a background spiral galaxy completely unrelated to the jet, yet positioned in perfect alignment. This chance, cosmic overlapping, not only solved a long-standing puzzle, but demonstrated how easily background objects can be misinterpreted as features of the jets themselves forcing a re-evaluation of other similar observations. If you find these revelations fascinating, don't forget to subscribe. We bring you the latest discoveries you won't hear anywhere else every week. Hit that notification bell too. We're covering breakthrough astronomy findings from NASA and other space agencies that mainstream science channels often miss or oversimplify. But what happens next is even crazier. What scientists found in the motions of these jets might change what we think about how stars grow. The dynamic behavior hidden within these cosmic fountains reveals a process far more violent and episodic than anyone imagined, and it's rewriting our understanding of stellar evolution right before our eyes. When Hubble revisited Herbig Harrow objects like HH-34 and HH-47 over many years, it captured something extraordinary these jets aren't the steady, continuous streams scientists once imagined. Instead, they're more like episodic salvos from a cosmic cannon, with distinct bullets of material being ejected at different times. By analyzing these time-lapse images, astronomers made a breakthrough realization. Each bullet corresponds to a moment when the infant star experienced a surge in feeding activity gobbling up material from its surrounding disk and simultaneously ejecting a portion as a high-speed jet. This means we can actually trace back each knot in the jet to a specific feeding event in the star's past, effectively reconstructing a star's meal schedule going back decades or even centuries. Even more dramatically, Hubble discovered HH110, a jet with a mysterious origin that seemed to appear out of nowhere further investigation revealed something never seen before, a cosmic ricochet. This jet originates from a completely different object, HOH270, but takes a sharp 60-degree turn when it slams into a dense cloud of interstellar material. Just like a billiard ball bouncing off a cushion, the entire powerful jet changes direction after the collision. This extraordinary discovery proved that stellar jets don't always travel in straight lines. They can be dramatically redirected by their environment, creating complex flow patterns that had previously defied explanation. These revelations transform our understanding of star formation from a smooth, steady process to a chaotic, episodic one marked by bursts of activity and complex interactions with the surrounding environment. It's as if we've moved from watching stars form in slow motion to seeing the actual frame-by-frame -frame development, complete with all the messy details. By the way, we're only halfway through the surprises. The next discovery rewrites the textbook on molecular survival in space. What scientists found in the chemical composition of these jets challenges fundamental assumptions about what can exist in such extreme environments. The molecular secrets hidden within these fiery outflows are forcing astronomers to reconsider the very building blocks available for planetary formation, and the implications extend far beyond these individual objects. Spectroscopy Stunners The Spitzer Space Telescope began detecting intriguing molecular signatures in Herbig Harrow objects, but it was Webb's extraordinary spectroscopic capabilities that truly revolutionized our understanding. When pointed at HH211, Webb's instruments detected abundant warm molecular hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and silicon monoxide throughout the outflow, chemicals that, according to conventional wisdom, shouldn't have survived. This finding directly contradicts what scientists expected. 
The prevailing theory suggested that molecules would be completely destroyed in these high-velocity shocks, torn apart by the extreme conditions as gas slams into the surrounding medium at supersonic speeds. Yet there they were, complex molecular structures somehow persisting despite the violence. The web data revealed something crucial. The shock speeds in HH211 are relatively modest, around 80 to 100 kilometers per second, just slow enough to avoid completely dissociating the molecules. This indicates HH211 is capturing an extremely early stage of stellar jet evolution, a phase where the outflow still maintains much of its original molecular composition before accelerating to more destructive velocities. This discovery, published in Nature in 2023, has profound implications. It suggests that stellar jets may initially start as primarily molecular outflows before evolving into the more ionized atomic jets seen in older systems. This evolutionary sequence was suspected, but never before confirmed with such clear evidence. The findings also indicate that these jets could be transporting complex molecular material much farther into space than previously thought possible, potentially seeding distant regions with the building blocks for future star and planet formation. By mapping the infrared emission lines from these molecules, astronomers can now create detailed temperature and density profiles across the entire flow revealing the precise physical conditions in these stellar fountains with unprecedented accuracy. This molecular fingerprinting provides a new window into understanding how stars regulate their growth through these powerful outflows. Larger Scale Impacts These discoveries extend far beyond the individual Herbig Harrow objects themselves. Astronomers now recognize these jets as major contributors to turbulence in star-forming regions, essentially stirring the pot in stellar nurseries. When dozens or hundreds of protostars simultaneously launch jets in a star cluster, they collectively inject enormous amounts of energy into their surroundings. This energy injection serves multiple critical functions. It clears paths through dense molecular clouds, regulates the collapse of gas that feeds star formation, and even helps determine where the next generation of stars might form. In essence, these jets don't just announce the birth of individual stars. They actively shape the evolution of entire star clusters, creating a complex feedback loop that influences stellar birth rates and efficiencies. Perhaps most surprising is what researchers found in the particularly powerful Herbig Harrow object HHH 80-81. This extraordinary jet shows evidence of accelerating particles to relativistic speeds, velocities approaching the speed of light, producing non-thermal emission detected in radio, X-ray, and even gamma-ray observations. This shocking discovery suggests a direct link between the relatively small-scale jets from infant stars and the enormous relativistic jets produced by supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies. The implication is profound. The same fundamental physical mechanisms that govern jets may operate across a scale difference of billions of times. A stellar jet, like HH8081, becomes a miniature version of a quasar, providing astronomers with a nearby laboratory to study processes that normally occur at intergalactic distances. This connection between stellar and galactic phenomena was theoretically proposed but never before supported with such compelling observational evidence. These aren't speculative findings. They're rigorously verified discoveries published in the world's most prestigious scientific journals. Dr. Stephen Pravdo of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, who led the Chandra X-ray study of HH2 published in Nature, described the discovery as proving a theory about the extreme conditions in these objects. The detection of million-degree plasma in the shock front confirmed decades of theoretical work and finally explained why previous X-ray telescopes had failed to detect this emission. It required Chandra's extraordinary sensitivity. Similarly, the recent web observations of HH211's molecular composition, led by T. Ray and colleagues and published in Nature in 2023, 
have been presented at major international astrophysics conferences to widespread scientific interest. The findings about binary-driven jets and molecular survival in shocks represent some of the most significant advances in star formation research in recent years. These peer-reviewed results demonstrate the power of NASA's multi-wavelength approach to astronomy, where different telescopes studying different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum combine to create a comprehensive picture that no single instrument could provide alone. From Hubble's optical imagery to Chandra's X-ray detection to Webb's infrared spectroscopy, each telescope has added crucial pieces to the puzzle. If one small protostar can launch twin molecular cannons, deflect off clouds and fire particles like a miniature quasar, what else don't we know yet? The discoveries we've covered represent just the beginning of a new era in understanding stellar birth. As Webb continues its mission and future telescopes come online, what other fundamental assumptions might be overturned? The scientific community has been repeatedly surprised by what these stellar jets have revealed. From their chemical composition, to their physical structure, to their energetic processes, each new observation seems to uncover another layer of complexity that challenges existing models. And with thousands of Herbig Harrow objects scattered throughout our galaxy, each potentially hiding similar secrets, we're likely standing on the threshold of even more revolutionary discoveries. Herbig Harrow objects have transformed from curious astronomical oddities into dynamic, complex laboratories for studying some of the most fundamental processes in the universe. These aren't just pretty nebulous blobs. They're multi-layered astrophysical phenomena that connect stellar birth to galactic scale physics. The story of our understanding has evolved dramatically with each NASA mission. Hubble first revealed the intricate structures and time evolution, showing us the episodic nature of stellar growth. Chandra then discovered the extreme million degree temperatures, proving these modest-sized objects can generate supernova-like shock conditions. Spitzer began detecting molecular components, hinting at the chemical complexity. And now, Webb has revolutionized our view again, with unprecedented resolution and spectroscopic detail, uncovering binary sources, molecular survival, and even that perfectly aligned background galaxy. What we now know represents a quantum leap in understanding. Jets can be twisted by binary star orbital motions. They can remain surprisingly rich in molecules despite supersonic speeds. They can be easily confused with background objects requiring careful interpretation. And they can generate conditions hot enough to emit X-rays. Each of these discoveries has forced a re-evaluation of theoretical models and opened new questions about the star formation process. As new telescopes and instruments come online in the coming years, Herbig Harrow objects will continue to serve as high-definition windows into cosmic birth. Their study connects the dots between the smallest scales of protoplanetary disk physics and the largest scales of galactic evolution. By understanding these stellar fountains in greater detail, we gain insight into the processes that likely formed our own solar system, and by extension, created the conditions for life on Earth. If you found this discovery fascinating, you won't want to miss our next video. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you're always the first to know when we release new content. Next week, we'll be exploring Webb's latest findings about exoplanet atmospheres that could completely change our understanding of habitable worlds. The universe is full of astonishing revelations, and we're committed to bringing you the most cutting-edge discoveries explained in a way that makes complex science accessible without oversimplification. Join our community of space enthusiasts who appreciate the wonder of cosmic discovery.